Uh, over on Reddit, I don't know if you've ever been on Reddit, R-E-D-D-I-T, but they have threads called I Am, and it's where you have people ask you questions, except like you're a big fat celebrity and everybody kisses your ass. So, BT is doing one today, and I'm dying to ask him, BT, will you ever get over yourself? But can't bring myself to do it. Hello, it is Monday. It's 6.11 p.m. It is so late. There's no way I'll get this up in time to go home and see Once in a Lifetime, The Rock vs. John Cena. It's up to 40 degrees, finally. Man, it was in the 30s when I woke up. I had to turn the heater on in the car to get to work because I wore shorts. Because I'm wearing shorts. Full stop. No more pants until November. But cold all day, man. High temperature was 46, but I believe that was set at midnight. It's just been dropping since. So at least it got back up to 40. So at least I can justify wearing shorts. Hey, it hit 40. The big news today is I finally went to Taco Bell on the way back from the Roseville Post Office where I finally mailed my tax information to my accountant who needed it by Friday or else. So I sprung for priority mail. I'm sure it'll get there Wednesday. Uh, what was my point? Yes, post office, Taco Bell. Now, obviously, because that was hours ago, I cannot share my reaction with you. But hopefully, because I did roll the camera for two minutes earlier today, you will get to see how that went. If I have learned how to use Movie Maker at all. We shall see. Take it away, Chris. Hello. It's 1.50 p.m. Current temperature is 38 degrees. I think this is it. I got the box. Whoa, which I can't show you. I've identified everything but this, so this must be it. So I'm afraid to take it out of. Quite excellent. Quite messy. Mm. Back to you, Chris. I hope that works. If not, oh well. So I got into some trouble over the weekend. I made a controversial tweet. Basically expressing fatigue over people who were tweeting about hoodies. And if you don't understand the significance, well, first of all, there isn't a lot of significance. But a lot of people are Tweeting about hoodies to show solidarity for a child who will not be brought back from the dead, unfortunately, no matter how many times they tweet. And it's a gross oversimplification of an issue that uh, has been going on for actually over a month, but which nobody learned about for a couple days. And because now a lot of basketball players are putting hoodie picks up, it's a powerful message and a powerful symbol. I enjoy useless symbolism as much as the next guy. You can see that from when I changed my Twitter avatar to something else. But 
They're not. That's basically what I felt like. So I tweeted, and I don't have it in front of me. You can go back and check it if you want. But it's something like, while I support your right to wear a hoodie, it's ironic that the more you tweet about hoodies, the more I want to shoot you. I don't really want to shoot you. I don't really want to kill anybody. But that was urge to kill rising. That was what I wanted to get across. That really offended a guy. Uh, a guy who I, whose opinion I respect and who I will follow, but he tweeted later, not to me specifically, but after the world, hey, if you're tired of my hoodie tweets, there's the unfollow button and go piss off. And he was pissed off enough to unfollow me. So, that's kind of the risk you take when you shout to the world. At least I'm at the point where I'm not at that point yet where I'm so worried about how many Twitter followers I have that I'm worrying about censoring my thoughts or trying to be somebody to please the world to get more followers. That said, I did send an apology to the guy saying, hey, I wasn't even talking about you because I wasn't. I was talking about some other people. He wasn't even actually on my radar, but he had changed his Twitter avatar to a lovely picture of himself in a hoodie. Looked very handsome, by the way. Casey's watching. But I'm not sure what the point of that was, but I guess it's to tell you, hey, I'm an asshole, and you know what you're getting into when you are when you follow me. So I hope that you and I are good enough friends that you can put up with me being an asshole and still love me. And if not, to hell with you. I don't need you. Service said I ignored half his questions. I don't know what they were, though. I went back and looked, and I thought I had covered everything. But if I haven't, you'll post them again, right? Okay. What was the last movie you saw at the theater, and did you like it? The last movie I saw in the theater was Tintin. For Slap for Free. In the morning, Saturday morning, surrounded by children. Still liked it. And uh, I would have liked it even if it wasn't free because I'm nuts about Tintin. It was also the first 3D movie I'd ever seen. And I didn't know it was going to be a 3D movie at the time or I would have come in with contacts instead of having to wear two pairs of glasses at the same time. But that may be the only time I went out to the theater in 2011 thinking about it. I haven't gone to the movie theater in a long time. I, I don't remember the last time. I mean, it probably wasn't Grindhouse. It had to be something after that, right? But really, that's the last one I can think I went and saw. When was Grindhouse? Was it before or after Zombieland? I saw that in the theater, too. Those are the only ones that come to mind. So, I watch a lot of DVDs and a lot of cable TV. And I don't, uh, I don't steal movies because it's too much piss space. And it's not like I don't have so much stuff already that I need to go out on the web and find other things to watch. Okay. Uh, Mike has a lot of opinions about climate change. My opinions are widely known. The climate changed today. It was 20 degrees colder than it, than it was yesterday. I did not adjust. Although I did wear long sleeves. I got this from my brother-in-law. I don't even think this radio station exists anymore, but I like it. Because it's a staff on the back. See? I just proved it. How stoked are you that Vanilla Ice will be performing at halftime this Friday's Timberwolves Celtics game? Super stoked. Because Dave Hogue wrote, uh, wrote a review of Vanilla Ice at halftime at a Pistons game, and it sounded dynamite. And I'm glad it's happening here. It's going to be even more fun because it's going to have that Minnesota flavor with the Timberwolves dancers, and I'll bet Crunch is involved somehow, too. Crunch is the mascot. But I can tell you more about that after it happens next week. I will spare you details of yesterday's Nuggets game, although it was awesome. They led almost the whole time. They were down 11-5, but they won by, like, a, they were. They ended up having the largest lead of the year at one point, 28 points, and they won by uh, a lot. I can't remember. But it was very satisfying. But now, there's two or three more road games before the next home game, which is Friday's Vanilla Ice game. So, 
I think I'm up on 10 minutes if I manage to paste the other video in. If not, you have two minutes back and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.